Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we have a tutorial for you and this time we're doing something a little bit different. If you've ever wanted an underground base but you still want to have some nice fun little details on the exterior of your build then this might be the perfect one for you. It is a nice dome shape hill or grassy area covered in all sorts of nature but with some nice little features like a chimney, windows and a nice entranceway leading into an awesome underground base area filled with everything you could need. If you like this video be sure to go down and hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here and with that let's get into the tutorial. In order to get started we do need the dimensions for the base. It's easier to build this up layer by layer so I have included graphics for each one of those layers and you can pause the video in between each one, build it up and that way you'll get the correct shape. Come to the side that you want to make the front of your entrance here to the dome and these blocks here you want to punch these away so one, two, three, four, five, and 6 like that along with the two little side ones there. Then directly in front of where this entrance is dig down by two blocks and have that three wide going along. Extend that out once more and out once again. Then dig out one block like that and this is going to be our little stairway in. So if we're going to be at this level then you do need to punch out or dig out the entire section here to this level so it is all in line and the easiest way to do this is just to follow along with the line that you have for your dome. So going around like this, taking away the blocks at the sides and then once you've got that all done you can go ahead and remove all the middle section until it looks something like this. And the last thing we want to do to prepare it before we start doing the main interior is we do need to replace out the floor. So leaving this where the entrance is at the same level, we do need to dig out one more block layer for this and replace the entire thing with dark oak planks. Now it's looking a little bit dark in here and we can fix that by adding in a skylight up the top of our dome here. So take out three blocks on the sides like this on all four of the sides and then punch out the remaining blocks in the middle and that adds us a nice skylight that we'll decorate out in a little moment. But now it's nice and bright in here and we can get to work. The first thing though, let us work on the entrance. So take a spruce block and place it on those little bits that are missing a block with a spruce stair on top. Upside down stairs, either side of those, a slab in the middle and three trap doors going along. Then come on the inside and place trap doors on these sections here to make a nice little door frame. Move round to the left hand side now of your build and we're going to add in a little window for the bedroom. So punch out these six blocks once again and one more time with these little side ones and we're going to add in a block of spruce wood or spruce planks again with stairs on top. This time though upside down stairs going across like that. A slab in the middle, trap doors either side and trap doors on the front of those and they will add in some glass a little bit later. You can however as well add in some spruce planks there and that's a nice little window frame. All done. To decorate our skylight take spruce planks and place them in the corners like this. Place upside down stairs in the middle. Take a slab in those corners and then create this little design coming out from the corners once here. And a trap door in the middle. Once again we will add the glass in a little bit later. Finally to finish up the entrance way, take your spruce slabs and come across. Gradually working our way down until we meet up with the ground here and then we can just fill in this little bit here. And that's a nice little walkway in and out of our base. I think I'm actually going to add some trap doors there to match the little window at that side. And the entranceway, window, skylight and the main shape for the dome is now complete. So it is now time to work on the interior. And for that we're going to need some more dark oak and some more spruce wood. We're going to tackle this section here on the left first which is going to be our bedroom. So if you're coming in from the front on the side with our window, go from this block here and count back five blocks. 
one, two, three, four, five. Come behind that one and place a stripped dark oak log like so. Place two dark oak planks, three dark oak stairs, another two dark oak planks, and then one more stripped dark oak log and bring those logs all the way up until they touch the ceiling like so. Then bring the dark oak planks all the way to the wall until they meet up with the window. And this platform here is going to be where our bedroom is housed and now you need some spruce wood and fill in the walls going along like this and do that for both sides. The side walls now built up we want to cover up all of this dirt with some spruce wood and spruce planks and this bit is a little bit tricky to follow along. So take some spruce planks and place them in the corners. Place two upside down stairs and the sides here and here. Upside down stairs either side of these above the window with a trap door on top. Now place upside down stairs going along these two and some along the three in the middle with a plank on either side. Some more upside down stairs going along here and here and you guessed it upside down stairs going right along the top. Now we want some full blocks going here and here. Same again on that side with two upside down stairs one more time. Then coming very up to the very top we take our stripped dark oak logs and bring it right across as a cross beam. And with the remaining dirt that we can see, cover that up with some spruce trap doors. And you may have this little section here. Just turn those stairs around so they join like that. And that is now our bedroom section all complete, barring the decorations of course. On the back wall here in the centre, directly across from our entrance, we're going to build our enchanting station. So count five blocks along from this pillar here. One, two, three, four, five. And place another strip dark oak log. And that one goes all the way to the ceiling as before. Then take our bookshelves and place them on the inside like this. And you want these to go three high all the way around. And our enchanting table can go directly in the middle. Now take some spruce planks, place on top of the bookshelves and have some spruce stairs going around like that. Place in some more blocks going across and across once more. Upside down stairs and another row of spruce planks along the centre. Then some spruce trap doors filling in these flat areas with a lantern in the centre and some anvils either side. And you can add one more little spruce stair right there before adding in the cross beam. And that is the middle section of our enchanting area all complete. So directly off the corner of our log here place it in a cobblestone block and have that diagonally go across by four blocks like that. Place a furnace, actually three furnaces on top of each other either side like so. We place a stair on top of the end blocks like that. Come behind those and those go three high actually all the way up to the ceiling. Join those across like that. And down by one more block, place an upside down stair facing outwards and an upside down stair facing inwards to create this little pattern. Place two walls coming from the ceiling section and then slabs in the middle. And that's going to be the general shape that we have for our furnace, our fireplace. We do want to texture this out with some andesite. So just come in and replace some of these blocks with andesite and add a nice little bit of texture. Not forgetting the walls and the stairs over here. Something like that. Then the final touch is to add a campfire in the little middle section and that will create some smoke and then punch out this block here and replace it with some cobblestone and later we will build up the chimney on the outside and that will show you exactly where to build it. The final touch is to add in the walls and things around and you take your spruce planks once again Build up this bit here with a block in the corner and two upside down stairs like so. Build out the spruce planks up on this side as well. Once more with the stairs and then fill in with trap doors like we did on that side with the dirt and bring our cross beam right across once again. 
Time now to move into this last corner and this is going to be our storage room. So first of all fill in this section here with spruce planks and that's going to be the same for this whole entire wall like that. Place in some spruce planks right there and upside down stairs underneath and this is to house our chests and we want the stairs so that we can actually open the chests like that. So you can copy that on this other side with planks and stairs like so. Place in a plank in that little gap there and a plank going across those sections. Place in a upside down stair in the corners here and here. And then we're actually going to place in a bottom slab in those sections and a bottom slab right there. Once again we can add in the chest and they should open because it is a slab and a stair. Like that. Moving on up we want to add in some more planks going across this entire room like that with some stairs and full blocks. Bring our cross beam along here like that. Full blocks going across the middle. And then this entire section once again we can cover with trapdoors to add that effect to cover up the dirt. Finally what we can do is add in some trapdoors at the sides of these chests right there. Add in a few more on this side and same right here. And that's going to be our little storage area for housing our chests. So the last little section of our base isn't actually going to serve a purpose but it could be a little area you could use as a stairway down to your mine or underground area. For me though I'm just going to block this off so I'm just going to bring blocks along like that and fill up this entire wall right here with blocks and that just closes that area off. Again survival you will want to light that up but in here I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, for here I'm going to tidy up this a little bit removing that trap door and adding in some blocks actually going all the way across. I'm going to add an upside down stairs with a slab to match up with our entrance way and add in some more trap doors there to carry on that feel. And then right here I'm going to add in some trap doors on this entire wall and that will go again with the other wall and it will be all matching like that and we can bring those up. Go all the way up the top like that. And the last little bit of dirt we can see is on our skylight area so we can add in those little slabs to cover that up. Finally adding in the glass which I think a mixture of green and lime works really well here and again we can use some glass panes on our little window. Heading back out to the exterior now as we have pretty much completed all of the interior without the decorations. We do need to add in the chimney and some more nature and things out here so from our little cobblestone block that we placed earlier and bring up some blocks like this and have it snake its way up something like that maybe extend that one like that really the shape is up to you and it is something you need to kind of just play around with and adding in a mixture of the cobblestone and andesite really brings that shape out something like this you can play around adding in some slabs to make it a little bit more interesting of a design. Something like that I think. Maybe mix in some more cobblestone here and there. Yeah I think I'm happy with that. That looks pretty cool. Tap cap that off with a campfire and some spruce trap doors all the way around like so. Now that our chimney is in place we do need to add in that little bit of life to the area as it does look a little bit odd just sitting there on its own. So adding in a lot of leaves around the build does fit in with that nature vibe that we're going for with this little house. So add in some leaves, I'm going to use a mixture of oak and spruce leaves just to give that nice effect. Once I've added in all the leaves I'm going to go crazy with the bone meal and pretty much cover the entire thing in grass and flowers and that gives again the look that it is just a natural piece of land that has been carved into and made into a home. So do that and add leaves and then it is pretty much done at that point. 
And there we go, all the nature is in place. I said I'd go a little bit crazy with the bone meal, but I did want this to look overgrown and in with nature. The exterior of the build could do with a little bit more work in terms of some leaves, bushes, some more trees and things to really hide this into the environment. But for the purposes of this build, I think we are done with the exterior. The interior, however, does need decorated and our bedroom needs built up. We need some carpets and lighting and things like that. So I'm going to build up some decorations and cool interior and then we'll take a quick tour before we end today's video. So I'll cut just now, I'll do that and I'll show you the finished product. Coming through the doors guys and we have a finished interior. As you can see, entranceway has a nice carpet covering up some of that dark oak and breaking up the brown look in this area. We do have a bedroom up here with a armour stand, a little desk, a nice little window covered by grass <laughs> and our bed and of course we do have our enchanting table and furnaces and our storage and I think it turned out pretty nice. And with that our base is now complete and I do hope that you did enjoy the video. I hope that you like the build and it has inspired you to create something similar for yourself. If you did like it remember go down hit the like button and if you're new please consider subscribing. But with that again I hope you did enjoy. Until the next one guys. Bye bye.